What's happening everybody, Bloom TQ here, and in the last episode, we fixed the pixel art behind us and upgraded our melon armor to this beautiful, croppy armor that gives us squash from farming our crops. You've already read the title of this video and know what's about to happen. For the keen-eyed viewers, you'll notice that I changed the title of the last video to reflect on what I have planned for this series. This is my Road to Max series where we'll be going until we max out every skill, every collection, every slayer monster, every collectible item until there's nothing left to do in Hypixel Skyblock. Let's get started. In my garden, I need more plots to use for farming different crops, which means I'll need to trade more compost to unlock these plots. I'll need to fill my composter up and make sure to top the fuel off whenever I can. I went ahead and took the liberty of trading my copper along with a couple of enchanted baked potatoes to upgrade the multi-drop part of this composter. I had a few polished pumpkins left over, so I upgraded a second time and fell short on copper to upgrade it anymore. That's okay though. We need to collect squash for the next armor upgrade. I replaced my wheat, carrot, and potato plots with a preset that I saved specifically just for melons and pumpkins. I do find it odd in a good way how we can copy and paste plots we build here. I think it's a great quality of life option for the farms. There was a melon contest coming up, so I had to get this farm ready. When it was done pasting, I planted melon seeds using my seed bag and placed my guide blocks so I can cross over to the next row without wasting a ton of time just in time for Jacob's contest. I got a personal best with a harvest of 755,000 melons. And when I went to check how many squash we harvested, I found nothing, not a single one. I may have underestimated how simple this would be. So, I had collected the rewards from the three previous contests I had and combined the books together, saving up for when I would eventually get a tier 5 book. Let the grind begin. While farming pumpkins, I leveled my bee up to 99 and finally got my first squash, unlocking the achievement Bountiful Harvest. I also leveled up farming to 39, I then won silver in a pumpkin contest harvesting 200,000. I joined in late on the next pumpkin contest and took the bronze medal with 67k. I got bronze and melons with 691k and then the next pumpkin challenge the server went down but I still secured silver with 156k. I took a break and came back to collect what my unpaid interns collected for me and unlocked my final redstone collection, maxing it right there. I forcefully took what was mine from my fishing intern and progressed in three other collections, all in the name of progress for my empire. I mean, for my series. I upgraded the diamond intern and I reached skyblock level 91. It's a boost of 5 health, so it's still progress. My unpaid diamond intern watched this happen and I swear I heard him mutter something. Get out of here! Let's make way for a new employee with the right motivation. Stabbing things. Did I say employee? I meant intern. Here, take these upgrades I totally didn't take from the last guy. Anyways, the B leveled up to 100, unlocking the achievement Friend for Life. I got a PB in the next melon competition with just under 919,000 and took home silver. So close to a million. Then I PB'd in cocoa beans with 306k for another silver, then got bronze and pumpkins with 119k, I went to farm melons and noticed something weird. I'm collecting enchanted melons in my hot bar, which can only mean one thing. I completely filled up my enchanted agronomy sacks melon storage, which holds over 20,000 of each item. That's over 3.2 million melons alone. Hey, to some people that might be chump change, but to me, that's a strong start. I went on to PB again in cocoa beans, taking silver with 316k, getting silver and melon for 876k, turning around and PBing a third time in cocoa beans with 333k in silver. This crappie armor is really working. I bet I can PB with 350k next. But the next contest was pumpkin and I got level 30 in taming before taking home silver with 171k. I farmed some more and collected pests when I absolutely sniped the bronze medal from some poor player starting out. There's no doubt in my mind that I made their day just a little worse. For the first time in what felt like forever, I exchanged 40 of my pests for a 30 minute boost to farming fortune. I know I'm a hoarder and I really shouldn't be hoarding so many bugs in a vacuum. The smell of that has got to be terrible with worms, beetles, locusts, mites, and who knows what else that got sucked up. Anyways, after exchanging these bodies, I went on to PB and Coco for a fourth time, taking silver with 452,000. Over 100,000 than what I thought it would be. Man, it's great to overachieve. I've got this lingering feeling, though. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something 
I'm forgetting. The wife asked me to make something. Let's poke her. Earlier, you had asked me to build something for you. What was it? My A-frame. Remind me about that. My witch hat. A-frame. Oh, you haven't actually built me one? No. It's, oh my goodness, you even go up there. What? You can put something right up there on top of that roof. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> hey, there's stairs. Yes. Yes. No, what you what did you ask me to build? A little black A frame witch hut. Where? At the back. There or over there? Over there. Over here? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And, like really tuck it into the trees. I get to take down my little tree? Yeah. <laughs> Well, All right. your little tree can stay. It can just go next to it. Our little tree can be... Yeah, it can go right next to it. Just move the flowers. And put them in front of it. Okay, I'll get something figured out. Hmm. I love you. With the upstairs, where I can sleep. Okay. How many rooms? That's it. I sleep upstairs, and downstairs is my kitchen. Oh, a little itty-bitty A-frame. Yeah. A like a... Witch Okay. Okay, I think I can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
needs half a stack of hay, just regular hay for one cookie, and it needs two stacks of enchanted cocoa beans. So I'll need 100 stacks, so that is 6,400 enchanted cocoa beans. I've got enough. 144 enchanted melon blocks. Nice. But with me just recently maxing out my enchanted melons, I don't think I'll have any problem working my way up to 144. Let's get them crafted. Hey, <laughs> just like that. We went through about 12,000 enchanted melons and we've got 149 enchanted melon blocks. All I have to do is just craft up the enchanted cookies and we'll have it. Let's do it. Let's disable the auto crafters. This one's for farming and off. Just like that, 61 enchanted cookies. I made a few extra because I've got some visitors that want enchanted cookies. Now let's get the rest of it. We need polished pumpkins, 36, which we've got plenty enough. The squash, oh yeah, plenty. And 144 enchanted melon blocks. All right, let's take this stuff off. Let's get the new stuff on. like that from 20 farming fortune up to 25 for the squash helmet and the crappie chest plate carpentry up to 27 <laughs> and the squash leggings and crappies right up here boom look at that squash armor upgrades people upgrades with this much more farming fortune, we'll be making more crops, more enchanted crops, which equals more money. There are a few things that I am lacking though. I don't have equipment meant for farming. So I want to work on that. But in the meantime, this squash arm, what in the world? The sound's coming from right here. And my enderman, what the Stuff's cursed. As I was saying, in the meantime, this armor lets me farm up fermento. Farming sugarcane, cacti, mushrooms, and netherwort has a whoa, a very small chance of dropping fermento. Fermento is needed to upgrade squash to fermento armor. Just like we upgraded our melon to crappie, our crappie to squash will need fermento. But the kicker is with fermento armor, it combines the tiered bonuses of all three of them, so the bonuses I got with melon, the bonuses I got with crappie, and the bonuses I'm going to be getting with this squash armor all combines into fermento. So whenever I farm, I can continually get crappie, melon, and fermento all together. I've got plans what I'm going to do with that, but for right now, that is just amazing money to be had. The collection is ever growing, and even with what I've got now, 68 crappie from previous times, still goes for a million and a half. I'll be keeping you guys updated. Ooh, coin. I'll be keeping you guys updated with my Road to Max series. In the meantime, I want to thank you all for watching up to this point. Until then, thanks again a million times. You all have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Subscribe, or these guys are going to come and get you.